Welcome, my lovely dears, to another fun sighting session of Books in the North. When last we left off, you guys uh, successfully, um, if not deified, at the very least, um, canonized uh, Saint Caridwen Jr. of the dead god Hagen. I don't think I That's successfully right. shit last session. I just got punched. You did get punched, but you got punched by guards, which is pretty cool. And, and also, so, to be fair, to be fair, some of them hugged you too. Yeah, you got a nice big hug. You got, you got, you got a milky Embla hug. I did. It's true. So like, really, that's, I am that, the that, that's one that's more. that's yeah. I was gonna say like that's enough to keep you like just to coast you for like a few more days of afterglow. I mean, a few Cam, more days. I mean, like that's pretty Cam good. Scratch you between the ears. That's also true. Yeah. Not dead god, sleeping sun god. I mean, he is dead for a hundred years. We just call it sleeping because it sounds nicer than you just stabbed your god. <laughs> you just stabbed your god. It's, okay, it's yes, the, yes, of it's course. It's the Hagen sleep. He's of course. just taking a nap. It might be a dirt nap, but it's still a nap. It's okay, yeah, he'll just he'll get back up. It's he'll get like better. A hand job is still a job. Yeah, none of you guys said that, but, you know. Yeah, he'll, just, he'll just get better. Don't worry about he'll, it. He'll die, he died, but he'll get over it. Yeah, it'll get better. <laughs> it'll get better, don't worry. Cut my life into pieces. Yeah, slice, slice, slice. These are this my brand new jorts. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Fair. Alright. Uh, and that's basically what happened. You guys uh, made all of the traversals intact. If there was some struggling along the way, uh, and successfully talks down the people of uh, Ashenhold from throwing a fucking riotous panic, uh, and messengers have gone out and been spread. Uh, we need to get uh, Hedra some ravens. We have a raven right here. That's true. She is yeah. Tony and she is bony. She is. She is. Uh, let's see here. And now there is just one journey left for you all to take. Uh, and also if anyone could delete that purple line because I apparently can't select it, that'd be cool. What purple, what purple line? line? Oh my god. Is there is no purple line. Oh my god, this exists in the GM layer? Why is it in the GM layer? This is one. This is a line that you guys drew. Why? Whatever. <laughs> to be fair, I clicked control A to help you out, Scout, but I didn't. Yeah, no, no, that's, that's... What do you mean, drunk Scout? It's fucking 4.30. What's that got to do with anything? <laughs> yeah, it's 5 o'clock yeah, somewhere. We know you night. better than that. No, I haven't drank a lot in a while. This is true. You've been doing. Good. Oh, I know what happened. It's because I I group selected all of the gods who I had out on the page and threw them into the GM layer, and I must have group selected oh. the line. There we go. That makes sense. Yeah. Then I'll bring them all up again because I like them. They're great. They're great. I like Embla. Yeah, it's a good move right there. Also, Asmund's pretty cute. Absolutely. Then back they go into the stealth dimension. Yeah, I can literally see a map mark that I threw into the wrong layer. Interesting. Okay, so you have the journey to Overland Keep to make. In the Ashen Holds, are you staying here any length of time? I'm moving on. I think we were staying here for like a day or two to right. finish up our uh, Divine Herald business. Sure. Okay, then. Um, if anyone would like to, please give me uh, like religion checks or social checks, because people will be coming to you guys from time to time. Absolutely. What are we persuading? 
um, people will just be coming to you guys with like questions about all of your ventures and about Hagen and all of that stuff. So if you want to be amenable to answering any questions or like you know persuading worried people, um, tiefling and otherwise, uh, you can go with social skills or religion skills. I will go with religion because I well actually I I feel like a cleric. Why are these all into skills and none of them are wisdom check? Like wisdom. Because they're like, knowledge. Why is the... Being wise doesn't help you know things. That's why. Being wise should be giving, like, giving advice about what's going. That would be the insight skill. I don't. I can't use insight on this though. Or can I? Make a case to um... school. Yeah, if you want to use a skill, because this is a this is a matter revolving around like the gods, and I'm a literal cleric, but yeah, well then you do also do have to then, be a genius. I mean, you do also can you do also just make a a religion check um, instead of your social ones because uh, it turns out that it is in fact a religious thing to do to provide like alms to the needy, etc. Yeah, but I can't use my cleric stat for religion checks. This is true. Which is ridiculous. That's how much you learned in, in cleric school. Does not reflect your ability to solve a Rubik's Cube. Uh, I'm going to use my inspiration. Mm -hmm. yeah, good call. Inspiration's Kellen kind of goosed it. Get <laughs> called this bad sword good. Alright, yeah. Uh, LOA, I take it, is not helping. Eloy actually didn't understand what was going on until people explained it to her after it happened. Yeah. I like the idea that it's another random villager explained it to you, and you're like, wait a second, I was there. And then you go to one of your friends. <laughs> that's probably... That, that's what happened with what Kellen's happens. role. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, you, uh, you've you been kind of... You worked on soul. Okay, cool. All right, that's fine. Take out another two of a week. No problem. Uh, <coughs> oh no, guys! I have a cough. It's all over. Oh no! You have the corona. The My corona. I mean, cough. it's definitely not because it's like this every you know, like March or so, when the seasons change and the temperature all changes. My body's hey, like, all right, exactly. you ready for a new cold? And that's what's happening to everyone, as it's happened every year. And half people are like, I'm dying. I like, know. Every year in February, I get a cough that lasts from the middle of February to the end of March, and that's just what happened. Mm hmm. Totally mm -hmm. normal. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, for the most part, you guys are able to assuade those who come to you worried. Uh, and at the same time, uh, the head priestess will probably be coming to carry one each evening so to, to assuade her fears and worries. <laughs> Somebody you're a poor way you are a poor wayward child. Just every night uh, comes into your room with giant tits, but nothing happens other than vigorous head pats. Th this is the and medicine Carrie needs. Let's be honest. Yeah, she, like she, she probably pat. comes in with like literally storybooks and stuff like that. She comes in with storybooks, tea, and head pats. Yeah. Uh, okay. As well, at the same time, carried when you, yeah, warm milk indeed. Um, uh, you receive um, vigorous wife head pats as well, and they'll let you know that they're waiting for you at Overland. Yay. At the very least, your mum has calmed down uh, uh, and is very proud of you. Uh, I, I will. I will go ahead and ask the waifus if Theory has performed any magic since they got there. Dying of curiosity. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Yeah. No, no, not. She, just, she just doesn't have a spot of magic to her at the moment. Oh. But see, the actual question is: Did she do any magic before you told her what happened? Well, but they weren't there for that. <laughs> they wouldn't have known any either way. Should have waited. Should have just w waited to see. 
No, uh, that was mostly to see if she'd uh, taken any class levels and something that wasn't divine. Uh, and no, she took like some cleric or yeah. some paladin at no. some point as well as being yeah, a Car divine Carrie warlock. was a celestial warlock with like one or two levels of paladin on top. I so. desperately Carrie wanted to see if she could just still make spells happen. Apparently yeah, not, I which is great. Cause... I desperately wanted her to be a sorcerer in disguise. Nope, she was actually so, a so she was, light she was legitimately. Uh -huh. She legitimately was a divine. Wait, wait. Divine okay, lady. what if she was? But when she started taking the antipsychotics, then she became an actual like. That was when she became a warlock. No, when, she was when, always geez. a warlock. Hockey dicks. She was always just, a, a celestial side warlock. Track. Uh, I just wanted That's her a fun to be. Side track. Yes. Feel sorry for Stray. No, we're going to straight it's, getting blue ball to the end of the session. We, I'm sorry. We, yeah, I don't think I, I don't think we can hour. invent and yeah, I don't think we can invent enough faff for the journey to Overland Keep across the safest road that exists in this setting. I, don't I mean, can, I, 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 I mean, I do have to make a stop at the Grove of Dreams I, here. I'm not oh, worried about 15 minutes in. If it goes an hour and a half in, then I'll get restless. <laughs> It's true. I've been waiting for this for more than a month. All right. Yeah. 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 Let's make a journey across them. Yeah. All right. Let's let us depart. And give cleric parting hugs. Bless the people with my non-existent divine magic and go. Hmm. I mean, like they'll now you're just like real religion. <laughs> it's fine when you're not looking. I'm just Natalie's just standing behind you casting bless. <laughs> You need You're just to... standing in your shadow. You just constantly have thaumaturgy up on her. It's just, just, just divine things seem to happen where she walks, and she's like, "All right, this is getting real fucking weird." And at at one point, Carrie's trying to like bless somebody and said, "Just blast an eldritch." Uh, I'll just blast out of her hand and blows up like a pot somewhere. And like, what the fuck? Mind bullets. <laughs> what happened? Telekinesis, Carrie. Telekinesis. No. no, not saying it. All right. So yeah, journey rolls. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's see here. No, I mean this is this is a totally totally sedate road. So literally just a d twenty of if does something fucky occur. All right, throw a great beast at scale. Come on, let's just, let's see it. Also, that's weird. Um, the compendium section's broken. Nice. Well, how hey, I should show you what it looks like when I open it. Oh wow, this is weird. Have you got like zero one to ability the, AC? The AC, like, yeah. Add you, casting modifier. Yeah. Um, that's an interesting bug. Oh wow, that's what. I'm oh. just gonna tap yeah. back. Open on. the go, go to open your... the compendium. The little yeah, line at the top right. I button, yeah. I wonder. No, this is working still... for me. Uh, I will. I will show you what this looks like because I, I I clicked into it to you know see if there's anything useful. Uh, for reasons. How weird! That's very weird. You can still search for stuff and it works fine, but these are like all of the like. DM rules or some weird shit. Just yeah. all spilling out into the main page. Yeah. That's very weird. What? Yeah, look in the the, uh, the uh, Discord chat. Hmm. It's super I'm not strange. seeing that. Like, no, no. Look at the stream. Apparently not. Is everything's working as normal. How weird. Oh god, I had my own voice now. Hmm. Okay. Three, oh, three, three wheels, that is. This Interdimen is interdimensional cheese wheels. Incredible. Isekai cheese. <sighs> no. <sighs> That's what it is. Yeah. All right, so who wants to roll the d20 of does shit happen on your journey? Because you can make the journey with literally zero difficulty. Yeah. Uh, okay. 15. The journey through crossing uh, and towards Overland Keep is perfectly fine. However, there is a stop planned um, 
by Madeline in the Grove of Dreams. That's Someone fine. Needs to perform some religious works of their own, and That's also right. stop yeah. by a fairy and say hi. I can and tell her what happened because really? she's the one who put us on this quest in the first place. Religious yeah. works? What you doing here? I have a personal project I'm working on. Any details you can share? A couple of hot goat girls flex are you with personal projects. <laughs> it is a surprise. It's not going to be like a surprise I found out over winter, is it? Mm, probably. Okay, also, a, also a goater. Now she has a wooden foot. Hey, look, it's, it's Mary. Hey, it's Mary 1.0. It's Saoirse's wife. Yep, Saoirse sat on her head, holding on to her, hand, her antlers. Saoirse! And she will put her hands up in a great big wave. Hey, other way! A demigod gave us a scroll of wish, and we're going to bring uh, uh, Caridwin back. The Caridwin's right there, and she will point at Carid Jr. I was about to no, say that. No, the, the other me. Oh! Kev red when get it? Yeah, she was red. Mm. She non sagely I, to herself. <laughs> oh, this is gonna get so awkward if I don't, we both have I the don't same name. That, I you were named after her. Anti theory. Same. <laughs> Sexual blick. I think that you blame you know bringing her back to life. You're junior. I, All right, junior. Let's do this. I told li I told literally everyone. That I was gonna bring her back to life. This just happened way sooner than I thought it would. She rolls her eyes. <laughs> Madeline has uh, like one a wooden little t uh, little tire. Oh no! She sticks her wooden foot up your ass. Two days back to Yeah, basically. Although there is currently stuff in the Grove of Dreams, it probably won't mm -hmm. take you any longer. And no, you can't count off days of downtime while you're traveling. That would be really sweet if we could, but we can't. No. See, so yeah, it does take about two days. But you know what yeah. I can do while we're traveling? Holy water. You can. You can <laughs> milk, milk yourself. <laughs> Sweet, sweet holy water. Back up to 11. Yeah, you are still producing holy water, by the way. Like, even though they're no Hagen. Yeah, because this is Pythoon's fuckery or Asmund or something. Yeah, we kind of did get it from Asmund. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Carrie can uh, convince herself otherwise. Oh yeah, Pythoon gave me the ultimate deep-throwing ability. Uh, Asmund gave me <laughs> gasoline... I'm surprised Pythoon didn't ask to test that out. TBH. I know, right? I'm not praying. I'm not praying to them yet. I'm, I'm probably going to start mean, them. That, Would you get down on your knees way. and pray? Yeah. Yeah. He just David Bowie's you, and then all of a sudden you're sucking cock, and you don't know why. <laughs> when the world falls. I mean, I'm okay with that, honestly. Uh, now I'm gonna swap. I mean, a lot of here. people would have been back in the day. Let's be honest. All right. Yeah. All right. So, Madeline. Yes. You're in the grove. You got your plans. I do. I would like to approach the big tree. Yeah, the big tree sees you approaching it, judges you silently. Such ju judgy trees. That tree was looking at me with a judgmental face. It's a tree. Shut up. I will approach the tree and I will, I will, I'll stand before it and bow to her. Yep. Lady Dryad. There is a soft yawn and a beautiful feminine figure sort of gently pulls herself out of, like, part ways out of the tree. Um, like, up to the, the hips, she's probably still, you know, buried in tree. Uh, 
she holds herself up with one hand resting against its bark. She doesn't appear to be gripping it, but it's supporting her weight all the same as though she were, you know, like sticking her fingers in and clinging. It leaves her one free hand with which to gesture you closer. I will come closer. And she will pat you on the head. Hello yeah. there, how can I help you? My name is Madeline, cleric mm -hmm. of life, devoted to life. <laughs> she nods. I'm the tree, devoted to trees. A town, a new settlement to the south, far to the south, has, is being created. And in that endeavor, I would like to bless this location with a dryad of its own. Mm, you want to seed one of my sisters? That is what I would like to do. I seek to create a grove. Mm. Down a hole and fertile with a dryad at its center. No free hand, she'll tap her chin. Okay. Hmm. Well, the winter has just passed. I'm sure we could rustle up some seeds as opposed to lift any sproutlings up. One moment, please. I have prepared a vessel for a seed to be carried. Oh, most excellent. She'll wait to see your vessel. Ah. He just bends over and presents the ass. <laughs> nah, you gotta 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 have Athia bend over, present the ass, swat on the tattoo. Like this pupper can hold so much seed. <laughs> Cedar wine was like tish. Cedar wine was like twenty gold each, right? Something like that, yeah. Okay. Look, it, like it won't balls. ever go dry up there. I mean, I'm permanently luby now. <laughs> Although that does it does mean if you sneeze, you have to clench really hard just in case it shoots out. Got you. Fuck. <laughs> I was considering a wood. I was considering considering a like it's a jar. It's a jar, uh, clay like from clay. I had considered a wooden one, but I thought this is a dryad. This is a bit fucked up. It yeah. might, be a, fucked bit, up, it might yeah. be a bit messed up. That's probably a bit too naturey. Uh, hmm. So it's a clay jar filled with uh, rich, rich vital earth from the fields of Ashen Hole. Excellent. Oh, wonderful. Okay, then, one moment. Uh, and then she settles slowly back into the tree and melts in. Yeah, yeah, it's like a tauntaun. You stay in this tree for a while. And that's also uh, Athia's ass. Yeah, yeah, this is true. Yeah, stay in there, stay warm. Her ass has many, per has many uses. Indeed. Swat. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see how long it takes. Uh, exactly an hour. Almost as though there was some kind of ritual for it, I suppose. Uh, okay. An hour will pass as this tree gathers one of her um, un unspent sisters. It's less holding and more gripping. The ass of gripping, please. It's hard. It doesn't let go of things very easily. Yeah. The, the ass of holding was character to one. <laughs> Putting the bottom and bottom heavy. She, uh, she'd walk in, and then five minutes later, her ass would follow. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, an hour does pass while this is happening, so you guys are able to get your bits and bobs out. Um, but yeah, a, like, probably thumb-sized uh, tree seed uh, is in this dryad's cupped hands, and she holds it gently out to you. I will ver I will place the, er, the pot down and will very carefully take the, cut my hands and take the, the seed Taking seed from a dryad, not the first time. <laughs> yep. 
And she will blow the little cedar kiss. Mm. And there you go. I'm sure she'll be very happy in a nice big new home. You make sure to bless that earth straight away. I will do it. I will do it as quick as I can. She nods and pat you on the head again. Is there anything else that you require? Just how long does, how long will it take? Uh, how long do I have? Oh, I mean, she'll live indefinitely in the pot, but I mean, blessing it when she's planted. Oh, yes, of course. I have she's thought a, through the She's process. a dryad and she's a seed. They don't just, well, we don't, you know, should just like gesture vaguely. We don't just rot away, fortunately. Some dryad seeds still sleep beneath the earth, not bothering to awaken and grow. From the moment I decided to do this, I have known the steps to make it happen. Excellent. She will be well cared for. She will smile. Uh, probably reaches into her hair. Hair, big air quotes. Uh, plucks out a little flower and slides it into your uh, own hair. There you go. Bye. And she will slide into the tree. <laughs> There. I'll place the seed into the pot and cap it, I think. Yeah. I, I assume you've got some kind of uh, lid for it. Yeah. I'll wrap the pot in blankets and I'll place it in my pack. Cool. In a little pouch to my side. Yeah, sounds good to me. I mean, nice and safe because it'll only balance. Uh, if it bounces off of anything, it'll bounce off against thick thighs and then protect it. That's right. Now I just need a few more ingredients. Jizz. How much of it is jizz? Mmm, I mean... No. I, no. <laughs> I like that you had to genuinely consider, like... Hmm. No, 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 no. <laughs> Delightful. Well, that's my business done here. Yeah. Sersha feasts upon blueberry syrup. I need... I need a large. I need a. I need a large piece of wood now. A fallen tree or a freshly cut tree. Later, though. Later, later. Mm. Probably want to get one from when Elk itself. I it's need to. Nice, nice little like dotted forest. Yeah, something from right in here. Mm -hmm. I need to get. Uh, but first, I need more power. I need to be level nine first. Yep. But soon, soon, especially if you keep going at the rate that you've been going so far. Yeah, it'll be a little while before we're level nine, yeah. Yeah, so out here, Termadi, you hand over this fine dining set of flavor enhancer, or flavor enhancement, if I want to do words right and correctly. <laughs> MSG to mm, delicious MSG. No, it's covered in um, uh, fucking it's the Futurama flavor enhancer, which turns out it's just LSD. <laughs> it's a tiny amount, you know. The flavor was inside you all along. Yeah, I don't need tripping acid. No tripping for you. It's like it works perfectly fine for like normal eating, but when you figure out, you sit there sucking on a spoon until you're just fucking high as a kite and tripping balls. It's fine. I know it. the The smell and taste senses may be gone, but now I can see flavor. <laughs> <laughs> I can see flavor. You'll look around, there's just a big signboard that says Flavor Town Destination here. 
Yeah. Oh no. Let me finish typing that out. Uh, this coffee is empty, which is tragic because that means that there isn't enough coffee in it. So and there needs to be more in it coffee. so that I can consume. I think that's the cure to this problem is getting extra coffee. All right, more coffee. Yeah. Emma like hot bean juice tastes like chocolate. Make brain go. Make brain not smooth. <laughs> Your wrinkles. You yeah, squeezes fresh wrinkles into my brain. <laughs> <laughs> You know, in the deafening silence, you could bring this conversation to voice. Or actually, you could. We could, but Hedra, Hedra is, is kind of Right. Kind. I realized I was an asshole the moment I said it. I have one, yes. You do. You do. Okay. I'm back with more hot bean juice. I'm wrapped back up in my blankets. My soft blankets. So warm, so soft. Shall we continue on? Yeah. Yes. Excellent. To oh, Overland. Susha will wish you the best of luck. Give you a big old hug around the head, the LOA. She says she'd follow along, but, uh, you know, weird things seems to happen around her because she's a fairy, so she'll just leave you guys to it. <laughs> Doesn't want to fuck shit up for you by presence of just being there and, you know, just inciting weirdness. Yeah. To Overland the Keep. Yay. Hooray. All right. Yeah, you're right. okay. Yeah. Um, uh, Sirisha said that she, after giving you a big old hug around the face, tells you that, you know, her being a fairy, weird things just seem to happen by liberty of her being a fairy and being around. So she'll leave you to it and wish you the best of luck. Mm. But, you know, bring her around afterwards. Fine. Also have like nine bottles of blueberry syrup. She will happily accept like nine bottles of blueberry syrup. Yeah. Overland keep as you wheel into view. 
you can see there are already people outside uh as always the uh uh the obsidian uh tower you know looks imposing and fiery and awesome as usual uh with the large home of uh fairy and bulgroff beside it yeah ah yeah it's good the, the eye of sauron <laughs> <laughs> Just going straight into the Iris Siren, yeah. Yeah. You see Mika and my and Ashley is also there. Mom, sword mom, dad. <laughs> sword, sword mom. Sword mom. <laughs> Hi, yeah. grandma, grandpa. Yep. Yeah. I don't have enough before even to the hug foxes, all of you. Yeah, before the foxes even get a chance to hug on you, Theory will scoop you up in her arms and just bury you in chest flute. Hug you tightly. Oh, my poor baby. Oh, Mom, I'm so sorry. It's I... okay. It's okay. I know you did the right thing, sweetie. So, how are you two holding up after all this? Are you directing that? Uh... You the, 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 theory, theory's kind of having a moment. <laughs> okay. Well, then I'll, I'll, I'll just ask Grandpa. <laughs> she's, just a... asking this, and she's just like, it's okay, baby. It's okay. And I'm going to do it close. You're like, so how's it going? <laughs> so, uh, hey, Grandpa, how's it, how's it been here? Mm -hmm. Full gruff wool. Frown, scratch the back of his head. Uh, yeah. Well... Not good, obviously. We have a number of Hakenites around here, so... <clears throat> Them and your grandma are rather distort, uh, distraught. I'm yeah. still, you know, carrying on as usual. Oh, Karen huffs good. some floof. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that floof, give me that floof. Mm, yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. I need it. Let me, let, let me touch those fluffy tails. I need the fluffy tail. I got the yep. fluffy tail monkey on my back. Yep, you're wrapped up in fluffy tails after Theory lets you down. Well, give all three of these a hug, and then get a hug from Pops. Yep. He similarly will lift you up because he knows you like being treated like you are small. Yay. Wiggle, wiggle, Use your wiggle. tight hug and scruffles your ears. Out of character, did we tell these guys about the wish? I don't think we did. No. We have not yet. Okay, well. I was just about to uh, get Eloise to that. Pace, Eloise pace flapping in the background impatiently because she knows she so, probably shouldn't interrupt now. Th there is some good news about all this. Uh, they both raised their eyebrows incredulously. Oh, <laughs> please the, do tell. The Raven Queen's husband gave us a thing or her sister's husband, whatever it's elf stuff mm. I will draw forth the scroll I will let's do it already just let me explain what's going on actually maybe Athia should because she's the only one who can actually knows how to use this thing there will blink she, like, oh, for a moment, tried to detect magic and it doesn't happen. There's just, like, an awkward twitch from her claws. So, to make a long story short, at the end of, um, well, our interdimensional travels, I suppose you'd call it, mm -hmm. we had helped out someone that uh, was kind of divinity not divinity on himself but married to divinity I, I don't know exactly he was a half god demigod yeah. is the demigod. term um anyway being sufficiently divinity he had a scroll of an extremely 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 powerful spell one only heard of in legend. It's, a, it's wish. a wish spell for the love of God. Let's get on with it already. Calm down, we'll get to it. So we have a wish, and we're planning to 
bring back Zardwin the first with it. I don't have to cut a mountain in half or anything. Uh, Theory and Fulgrifor look summarily fucking surprised at this fact and share a glance. There's uh, some like nervous like claws opening, claws closing, and she's like holding her hand to her chest. She wouldn't be coming back undead or anything, would she? No, that's it's it's a wish, like out of the stories. It's should it, bring her back safe and sound. It's a god spell. Uh, she'll make a she'll throw a nerd check at it. She may not have any spell casting, but she can throw nerd checks at stuff. Yeah. There. Wait, didn't she have uh? Say, I thought uh, you you had expertise Arcana with. Uh yeah, I mean, that that looks like an expertise Arcana roll to me. That's equal to my athletics. I just roll, I just yeah, I just rolled low, but that is a plus eleven. <laughs> yeah, she just um, rolled like butts. So unfortunately, she's I think one point off from IDing a wish. Yeah, uh, and also more to the point, she would usually as a like a quote unquote high level NPC when they're faced with stuff like that, they do it with advantage. But she doesn't have any magic anymore. <laughs> Yeah, her familiar is off banging a G-Milf. It is a G-Milf. That means a grandmother I would like to. <laughs> Actually, wait. Ash is here. She has Arcana, right? Um, Yeah, although she'll probably independently try and identify it. Like, Alright, well, fucking foxes help. <laughs> Alright, yeah, foxes can help her. Uh, oh no, Ashley does not have Arcana. She doesn't have any int skills. She's a goddamn paladin. Gotcha. The only int skill she has is religion, and she sure does have a plus zero mod in that shit. Okay, Fox Wizard. Now, if you wanted to athletics at the scroll, I mean, even that apparently not gonna no, do anything. No, she can't even write the fucking can, paper. Can I try an arcana to explain it to her? Uh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, you can do an arcana and play magic teacher. Yeah. Here, foxes give advantage. Thank you. There you go. All right. I mean, the foxes can't give you advantages to me. They don't understand. Like, they've never seen a wish spell either. <laughs> They know the concept, because again, wishes exist in, like, the stories and mythology of every fucking setting. Like, what a wish is and what it can do. Yeah, it makes sense for the bard to know, because, you know, I, I read all the stories and everything like that, all the ballads. Yeah, there is a small frown from Therese. I admit that I'm wary there is a small risk inherent. But... She'll slowly nod and sigh. It's the only chance at the impossible. Yeah. Just... Be prepared, I, I suppose, for the potential worst. Yeah. She looks a bit lost on how to respond. And Maddie, what are you doing? Is she trying to chip away at the tower? This is definitely not the first time you have ever seen this tower. And if you try and do anything to it, then a golem will come out and slap you on the wrist. Lots of golems will come out and slap you on the wrist. No, the cute golem will just pet her on the ears. And gently guide her away. Mm-hmm. It's only on the second although time. She, although she, although she is, yeah, although she is a monk, so if she has to get out the wooden spoon, you'd best be actually be aware that that wooden spoon's a lethal goddamn weapon in her hand. It's registered as a lethal weapon in twelve countries. She gives you the spoon. That the monk killed our people with a pencil. A fucking pencil. Oh, of course. No. Right. Um, well, okay. So, Stray, would you like to be the one to roll on this table? Wow, fucking, I guess. I mean, I mean, fine. I, I, don't, don't, I, don't I mean, it's my roles. character. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, okay. It's no, I mean, it, she was your character. She'll be an NPC if she comes back. So, be between me and Saven. Saving, do you want to roll? I mean, you're the one who really, really wants her to be a lich. I, it's true. No, it's Look, straight. if something goes horribly this wrong, is... I'd rather it be on my shoulders than on yours, so no one feels guilty about it. Yeah, but here's the thing. 
This is like the culmination of LOA's character arc here is that she wanted to bring her sister back. So it is. Like I'm not I'm not saying it should be me. I'm saying if you don't want to, I'll do it and you don't have to feel bad if it goes horribly wrong. Don't worry, I I still have half a bottle of whiskey left. <laughs> Alright, okay. go for That's it. like nothing. I know, but I'm also within walking distance of a liquor store. Oh, That's enough to get you to the liquor store. It's enough to get you to the oh, liquor store. Yeah, me personally. All right, so if you go to the uh, little macro section of the collection, uh, top right, and scroll on down to rollable tables, can you see Resurrection in there? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, no. <laughs> no rollable table. Nothing. You're, you're a liar. You're Liar, liar, patch. There it is. Oh, it's at the bottom. Oh, it's at the bottom. I didn't know these things were here. It just showed the up. The final step? No. Is uh, after. So go to uh, like your three bars on the top of there, next to the music icon. There should be the one that looks like, yeah, very, like a bullet pointed list next to your settings cogwheel on the very top right. It's the same oh, place. Oh, the macros, macros thing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And at the bottom, the there's very bottom is rollable tables. Oh, oh I've never seen this before. <laughs> We wow, I've never seen these before. Okay, yeah. Token and roll. I assume roll. Yeah. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, help me, Satan. Unhatched egg? Yay! She's gonna uh, be what? a baby again. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We have All right. Reincarnation. This isn't the worst. Huh. What was the weight on? All right, and now we, I will reveal what on unhatched egg. 5% odds. Okay. What was what was the odds of Draco Lich? Uh, also 5%. Damn it. Congratulations, you get to be a big sister, I suppose. So then does an egg just appear in front of us? Sorry. Like well, uh, let, let, us, let us go through the motions correctly. Now, would you like to know the odds of other things that were on this table? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Reveal. Okay. I'm also going to take off players can roll from table just so you don't just start hitting the button. So, Caridwen lives. The child. Stop, stop. 25. Okay. Caridwen lives. The dragon. 20. Hmm. Okay. Caridwen lives. Actually, whole, like whole hole and like leveled up pen caridwen lives the demon five mm. caridwen unlives the vampire ten. Uh, oh, damn it uh, shit okay. fuck caridwen right. unlives the lich five caridwen lives when the sun rises five only when the sun okay. rises or when hagen comes back maybe Caridwen 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 Isakai Rebirth 5 Okay <laughs> Man I was so <laughs> hoping I'd get to use her in Iona too That would so Caridwen cool. Caridwen lives missing 10 And Caridwen lives unhatched egg 5 She's alive somewhere Yes uh, Okay Well this is a good This is not the worst right. it could have been Yeah This is not the worst that it could have been and I have some interesting news for you, which we're not going to get through in the sequence. So, Athia. Let's just crack them knuckles. I assume you go through all your, you know, like, pre-ritual stretches. Yeah. It's got, it's got to do everything for us. Uh, it's going to be a so lot out of me. Get how do you prepare that? Girlfriend. Yeah, how do you prepare for this? Um, I take several deep breaths. I do a bunch of stretching. I... Uh, well, the squats, everyone's just like, huh, that <laughs> puff is really glissy. God, do this. Yeah. Take a few breaths. Step away work, out that ner- work out that nervous energy. Come back over here. Take another few breaths. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I got this. I got this. I can do it. You can do it. Okay. Here we go. She'll pull out the scroll, unravel it, and begin her casting. Finishing with, I wish. And let me just pull out my notepad here so I say it exactly right. 
I wish that Seridwen the First, sister of Eloy Hotman, was with us now, whole and hale, in the prime of her life. Okay. There is an incandescent glow. Uh, constitution saving throw, please, Athia. Oh, I see what's happening. I had a feeling this might happen. I'm going to use my inspiration on it. Didn't need it. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Yes. Oh, does it come out of me? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you are going to lay a fat egg. Oh, boy. I have you. So, you realize that things are about to happen. There is a heat inside your depths, an egg forming. Um, hmm. um, excuse, you realize that um, you need to get those pants ex- down real quick. Excuse us. So, uh, yeah, excuse us. <laughs> There's like a golem who's just like, oh my. <laughs> I will. Well, wet, I will. I will be your uh, your assistant <laughs> for this birth. I guess it's good practice for the future. Yeah. What the? Uh, <laughs> said that's a why. Yeah, it's lubricated for practice. It's all good. Athia hermaphrodite. She has everything, yes. Okay. Oh, everything. okay. It's, it's coming out of Pakuda. Oh, I'm glad Carrie doesn't come back as an ass baby. I'm yeah. a butt baby. <laughs> <laughs> why is this egg so shiny? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I so, will begin casting bless and and guidance upon you. Uh, oh, I mean, you don't even have to do it. She created that constitution save. Athia, you are obviously on for this. You get your pants off. You barely even have time to settle down on your knees before every muscle in your body clenches. And then smooth, smoothly, um, out comes an egg. Oh, um, it's, I'll catch the egg. It's It's uh, a big... Egg. It's a big egg. Oh, I'm gonna be one heavier I'm than gonna I thought it was gonna be. I'm gonna yeah, be in the uh, pose for a minute after uh Yeah. Um this. Anyway, if you're like peeking in the door, I don't know, like you guys ran it as Tower, how far did you get? Because this needed to happen like straight away. Basically right in the door, I think. Yeah, so LOA is the door. Oh, alright. Um uh give me a perception test, LOA. Let's see if you catch a glimpse. So I'm just gonna put this here in chat, cause uh. Okay, no, you don't got your glands. <laughs> this is a You're much I've too got, bad. Yeah. Yeah, this is yep. gonna be a fun time. So yeah. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh. Athia, you have a fucking delightful time. This is great. You've never pushed something this immensely large out of your body before. Um. Shulk doesn't look like a person-sized egg, though. Uh, um, um, well, that's good. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Give me. A I will wipe. Too. Wipe. I will wipe the drool from the, from your mouth, and try to like wave a hand in front of your eyes. Like, come back to me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> come, okay. back, come back down to earth. Okay, all right, all right, all right. That was... Oh, boy. Yeah, and the two of you are staring at a red-spotted egg. Uh, I will wrap the egg up in my cloak. Uh, you, I take it that you're wrapping up on, in your cloak while it's on the floor, because that egg weighs a hundred goddamn pounds. Oh, never mind. I'm not lifting anything. I'm going to sort of leave it on the ground, wrapped up. Um, I'll poke my head. Yeah, so, call, call people so, in. All yeah. right. So, boom, 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 boom. That's not what I had expected to happen, honestly. But I suppose it's not the worst thing. So there is a dragonborn screeching you... on the other side of the door. Yeah, LOA, you will be calm. Technically, I'm not raging. You will <laughs> calm down. Why 
What is happening? Your sister is happening. Is it an egg or is it live? Athia has laid an egg. Then open the door! The most puzzled look on Kellen's face right now. Get on the floor Slowly. and do the dinosaur. <laughs> well, it's the dragon now. Uh, I yeah. wave open my the door parents over. I will pick up the egg. Yeah, of course you can. Uh, before you okay. before you even pick it up. Um, Gentle. You've Gentle, seen these yeah. eggs before, LOA. It's a goddamn dragon egg. I am Why now, did you come back like that, you fucking nerd? I am now happy. <laughs> dragon mother of dragons. Yeah. <laughs> so she's I'll take the lead scene. Like, you've seen similarly fucked out state. She has had a great time. You're a fucking weirdy. The mind fucked condition. Wait, brain fucked. Why are you. Why. Terry and Bogruff just like slowly, slowly hold hands. <laughs> it's the miracle of life. Terry, you were always so fucking weird. Why is this something you wanted to do? The egg, the egg judges you silently. It doesn't do anything. The egg is an egg. Oh, should... The the egg knows that it won the race to dragonhood before you. Oh, she's gonna, she's gonna be. She's gonna come out as a dragon. Oh, she's gonna be so fucking smug. <laughs> you are so fucking stupid. Hey, okay. stupid like a genius. Not fair. Don't treat my egg like that. It was all Shut up, according Harry. to plan, says Caribou. Because yeah, if you can I... see inside, there's a small dragon like curled up in this egg, steepling fingers. Because I know exactly the size that we were when we hatched. Mom told me about it a lot. It wasn't this big. Weren't you born from a regular dragon egg? Yeah, but it wasn't this big. Oh, well, then. Well, they you... they carried it around in the cart, remember? Maybe she's going to come back as an actual dragon now. Like a full I will, cool. she does that. I will, I will cast a fourth level bless upon the egg. <laughs> if she does that, she will. I will never hear the end of it. She will be so smug. Hooray! <laughs> we just fucked out Athia cheering. Uh, Alright, I know how this works. Where are the crazy fertile ladies? That's how we hatch. What? Magic energy woke us up. And the dry. You mean a dryad? No. No, the the the, the bro teethling brood mothers. Oh, those. In um, the presence of high fertility, dragons hatch. That's how I hatched. We should put near the fire for warmth. You can put her in next to the obsidian towers, flame walls. I will make you an can overlook her domain. She's a red dragon. You can I'll... put the egg in the fire. I'll make a right. check to see if I remember if I have an idea where the teethling brood mothers have. Are, I mean, you are know that know. safe, pretty safely that they aren't really magic anymore. Oh, ah, butts from a fire. Yeah, no, they haven't been taking like you know fertility magic and potions like every fucking day of their lives now for years. New brilliant plan. Sit on it, you put, nerd. Put her egg next to the fire, mm. and I'm going to be sitting on this for a really long time. I also got. Big I could. Wind. I could put. I could. I could not. I could put Madeline's miraculous motherhood on it, on the egg. That makes it super. What does that do? Don't fertilize the egg. Don't make the egg fertile. <laughs> Seems like a terrible idea. She pops out already pregnant. Ah, oh, God, no. Yeah, yeah, don't give her the aphid treatment. I think it's just time. I think about aphid better. <laughs> the hey. egg looks smug. You know, you can paint a face on it, though, like a smiley face. At the least, you know she's alive again. <laughs> oh, no, I know what you put on the egg. This turned oh. out. Well. <laughs> I am uh, happy with this outcome. 
Alright. Well, Mom, Dad, look. Egg. Yeah, uh, LOA, are you going to uh, bring your sister out so that her parents can see? Well, I mean, sure, yeah. I don't trust my legs. It... Carry me, please? <laughs> it's if she could carry you. <laughs> She's made of nude. As if I can do that. It worked, but Carrie's a big dumb nerd and she decided she wanted to be an egg again. I like seeing you all weak and feeble. <laughs> Somehow I doubt this was her choice? I don't know what you mean. They're both pretty much astounded uh, at this. Um, both Fairy and Bulgraf will put their hands on the egg and close their eyes. Uh, you guys Bulgraf never speaks up. This is our daughter. The... Yeah, yeah. You guys never let the hearth go out, do you? Of course not, no. And you better believe that we never will. Okay. Well, I'm going to put this here, and then I'm going to be roosting for a while. <laughs> they realize that their stores of alcohol might not be great enough for you to stay in Overland Keep for an extended period of time. <laughs> Don't worry, I have an endless flask. Um, also, uh, hey, Uncle Boldgruff, you want to try this endless flask? It'd be like, um, maybe a little bit. Uh He's still looking rather shocked with a hand on this egg. Uh, you can see that both him and Theory are pretty, looking pretty choked up about the whole ordeal. Aw, give him a hug. Yeah, you to, get big to hugs. To be fair, Caridwin 1 was the hugest daddy's girl. She was. Yeah. Hooray, family oh. reunions. Oops. I mean, I guess I kind of meant to cast that. All right. What are you divining? I just want to make. I just want to ask, Embla, or a representative of her, just what is actual like? Is that actually Caridwin, the a dragon in that? Uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh... The reply might be a short phrase. Yes. Um. Let's see. Yeah. Uh. Uh, yes. Okay, just making sure. There goes my other fortune spell. It's fine. We don't need spells. We're in safety. Don't forget your 25 GP material cost. Yep. Incense and special offering. Which way yeah, that's fine. you're offering. Hmm, that was actually kind of, that's actually kind of an expensive spell. It is. You ask God a goddamn question. You ask me a question. I am your goddess. Now get down on your knees and pray. Oh. Oh, I guess my offering can be... Okay. Speaking of which, once Eloy goes and takes the egg into uh, the hearth and mom and dad go to be all weepy over it, I'm gonna go to Ash and be like, so... I lost my paladin powers. Ash grimaces. I take it you aren't interested in swapping devotions? No, that would not be appropriate. Okay. So, do you have any other tricks up your sleeve so mighty mythical sword she'll sigh I will need a hmm she will uh, gently slide uh, the ash bringer from its scabbard uh, you can see the scabbard still has like that uh, lanyard uh, tied to it of like past family, etc. The shawl of memory. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Here. I forgot how actually cool that item is, though. Yeah, that ring is fucking cool. Just fucking take a plus one of it. 
So, after you guys are done doing what you're doing, I do have a question. Sure, sure. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah. Okay. She offers you Ashlander uh, help first. She'll take it, assuming that won't just like cause her to collapse in her body. <laughs> it just caves in like a fucking black hole. Oh no. Um. Uh, and let's see here. Uh, would you please? Uh, in fact, would you like to make a charisma saving throw? Or would you like to? I will just fail. That's fine. Okay. Possess me, um, Yeah, you are struck by the sensation of, like, uh, if someone had rung a bell inside you, like, there is a peel in the core of you, and <gasps> you can see your vibrations sort of heading out of your body and ending in tremblings in your fingers and, like, right down to your toes. And tail goes on end. Oh, what was that? Uh, well, now you're kind of an empty vessel, I guess. Not in any, you know, ill-intended sense. There's just a big space where divine power used to be. Well, Ashbringer here has always been, well, not always been, eventually became potent enough to empower others who spent some time attuning to his presence. Uh... I'm not going to say godlike. There's no way that it or I are anything close to that powerful, considering I'm still a paladin myself. But if you know anything of Hexblades, I believe the Bringer qualifies as a patron. Well, as long as I'm not signing myself off to another god, I um, think. No, I mean, you'd be signing yourself off to my sword. I believe you've already done essentially before, so she just shrugs lamely. Works for me. Carol just grip the blade. I need to like cut myself on it or something. Oh no, nothing that stupid. Just go take a nap. Oh. And she'll hand okay. you the scabbard so you don't like slice yourself in your sleep. Well, she the sword. Are you gonna be okay if I do this? I mean, your spirit is still sort of attuned to the sword, right? Or have you it won't completely... break any attunements, but I this body belongs to me. I'm not going to go falling out of it in a moment's disruption. That oh, would be that's good. rather unsettling. I mean, you can't take Ashbringer with you, uh, but, you know. Well, I could. I just have to bring you. <laughs> that's true. Although I don't think you'll learn if I'm with you, which is a problem. Yeah. And no, you know, self-respecting conqueror of the North is going to go having a babysitter the entire time. I'd prefer to think of it as my friend, but fair enough. Well, let's face it, I'd want to get involved every time there is a fight, and... Uh, well, then I'd kill everything, and you wouldn't get any, you know, training or learn from your experiences. I know, I know. All right. I guess I'll go meditate on the sword and stare at an egg in a fire. Yes, I know they've got a very large sofa. I admittedly have been sleeping on it. Uh, just shift some blankets out of the way. I'm sure it's fine in there. All right. Okay, we'll hug the sword to her chest and follow in the wake of Eloy and uh, the folks to go commune with an egg. <laughs> Yeah, you can see the three of them are sort of stood staring at an egg that's just sat in a goddamn hearth. Uh, and yeah, there's like a big sofa up against the wall that's still got like blankets and stuff on it that smell of ash. Eloy, are you actually immune to fire? Uh, if it's right next to the hearth, that means nothing to me. Dragon's like, ah. Uh... It's sat in the hearth. It's on fire. The egg is on fire. Okay. Well, it's a red dragon egg. It doesn't really mind. I hope you didn't. It's okay. Throw you just go down to like one hit there. point and then get off for I, a few minutes. I just no. Nah, I just sit, literally right next to it because heat exhaustion means nothing to me. Yep. Fair. Uh. Yeah. Uh, that's not a problem. So my question is, 
if this takes months to hatch, Eloy's not moving. So if the party wants to go on, you want me to play like, uh, like a goat from the circle for a little while? I can do that. You can be Kaede. I can. Oh, oh, oh! I could do that. Yeah, but uh, then she'd have to be like. She level. would need leveling up. Um, I mean, I get a level with you. It's a dragon egg, and it's gonna take years. <laughs> womp womp. You are not going to sit there staring at an egg for for a decade. You suck in your butts from a fart. Fine. <laughs> Yeah, um, they can, you know, spend some time resting, and there's probably someone who can check magically or divinely that isn't a Haganite. Um, and, and yeah, you're probably informed at some point the next day that, like, okay, so she's a for realsies dragon. I, that, I oh just, I did God. just, in fact, did, did I divine that. Yeah, you did, you did divine that fact, but you didn't ask how long. Uh, and I guess that's true. She um, is going to be insufferably smug. She's going to be insufferably smug, you mean? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like she'll be incubating in fire for maybe two and a half years. Oh my god. We bring you back and you decide to sleep for two years? Look, the, 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 the cleric, the cleric, the cleric who explains this looks at you like you're insane. Like, I don't think she chose this. She went to the nerd dimension for nerds. Surely they have beds there. LOA does not understand how death works. She has yeah, the, the, the cleric has, like, has tried to shake themselves. Yeah, the cleric shakes themselves out of their incredulity. It's like, all right, I'll leave the dragon lady to it. Nothing I can She's do. My God. She's There's really nothing you can do about it. I was so excited to show her my horns and my wings, and now she went and did this. Great. Yeah, I wanted to show <laughs> yeah, her. Yeah, you know, so... I wanted be like, to say hello. Joke's on you, my CR is really high. <laughs> and the thing that pisses me off is this campaign's gonna end before LOA can see her. God damn it. But that's fine, because that means that I have a fucking magic dragon that I can make just appear in things or show up in the future. Well, I, I mean, she's not going anywhere without LOA literally glued to her ass. Yeah, and indeed, when you turn up for some fucking short shots and stuff... Dragon Rider LOA? Dragon Rider LOA, is what I'm saying, yeah. In <sighs> more senses okay. than one. Okay, <laughs> We'll move on, then. I, gonna, I don't I even gonna... know what we're. Go ahead. Good things come. I was gonna to say like way. um, I now have to think up some kind of weird feat list for what happens when you put a barbarian on a dragon. All right. So what we're uh, like, my mind has been consumed with resurrection quests for like a month and a half. Do we even have any leads to do anything after this? Nope. Campaign's no. over, everybody. We're done. We win. No. Um. You Time for shivs. To... You probably need to go and check with Anna if you want to go about looking for the last of the uh, Raven cultists and rooting them out. Oh yeah, that's right. Wait, we have are to, they even yeah. a threat anymore? They got their fucking goddess back. <laughs> you guys leave us I mean, alone you, It's they true. Have, they, they, technically it, yeah. they won. They right. wintered it. And, and it. But an example must be made. An example yeah. must be made. Yeah, the, rea the reality is whether you want to deal with the Raven cultists. Otherwise, there's ruins that you guys can go looking for if you want to start smashing away at stuff. Or, I mean, if you actually really want to, we can gear up to start going through the motions and preparing for ships. It depends what you want. I mean, I still want to explore the north. Yeah, yeah it, it kind of feels cheap to end the campaign at well then it, we did resurrect a character i was gonna say as far as, as far as capstones go killing god and resurrecting someone and turning them into a dragon are pretty yeah i mean they they, they, they yeah, sound like honestly. the end of dungeons and dragons campaigns it really does say. like I, uh, I don't want this to end quite yet though yeah like, I'm, very very fair like that's just my opinion though yeah i know 
I mean, uh, if you would like more time to think on that, of course. Uh, in the meantime, yeah. then, you'll have to do things like actually hunt up leads. Yeah. yeah. So, I think we're approaching let's... an end here, though. Not... Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not it's not a bad thing that Borks 2 was shorter than the other ones, because, to be fair, Borks 1 was the big adventure, but we stayed in the same place, and now we're just kind of... Uh, doing the things that our parents never got around that to. That is why yeah, but... I advocate for going somewhere else. Yeah. I, I, okay. So th there's still like some big Only quest six, lines to do 67 here. Sixty-seven like, sessions. So we're not that the, far behind. With the ruins and the Raven cultures, and we can always go like further north or to the south or something. So. It's true. There are other continents. Um... So I got I got a new brilliant idea. Right. Caradwin is uh, a big dumb fat nerd, and she's going to be sleeping for two years. So mm -hmm. uh, let's purge the cultists, and then let's go to Dute Horse Land. I was going to say, Dute Horse Land is an option. Like, if you guys are interested in traveling to the central jungles and exploring some of that stuff, then at the very least, like, Athia's mum can be like, so, how would you and your crazy kids, uh, how would you and your crazy kids like to join me on a little adventure? Uh, and gesture at the causeway. I mean, yes. we've plumbed a lot of the mysteries. We know where the elves went. Uh, mm -hmm. We don't know exactly where the dragons went, but that's okay because the dragons are right here. Hello. But we don't know uh, how so the elves did it or what's happening because they did it with the great beasts or True. anything about the great beasts. Or, except well, for, like, we literally I would like to know the answer to that question that. before we fuck off to shows. It's true. Uh, well, I, yeah, so... Let's purge the cultists, let's find some answers, and if there's uh, time left in the campaign, let's go to Doot Horse Land and hang out with Doot Horses. It's either that yeah, or I put together... I, it's either that or I put together jungle short shots for your characters to uh, explore at level 9. Um, I mean, I mean, honestly, yeah, I'd rather definitely. do that, honestly. I mean, so what, what, you want the you North, honestly, honestly? Play shivs. Uh, I'll probably need time for setting up all of Shiv's shorter than it takes me to prepare you some side adventures in um, the jungle, so oh, that gives wait, me time that's... to do both side by side. Uh, that's a good idea. What if we uh, wrap up things here in the north, start Shiv's, and then every so often we come back uh, as our characters uh, run running around in the jungle? That, that sounds good. good. Yeah, but we we still have like. Big stuff yeah. to do here in the north. Yeah, wrap, wrap, wrap up a north That's what I just said. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Once right. once we get our answers to the elf question and stuff. Yeah. I think we're gearing question, up towards like, the finale. We're not at the finale yet. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. elf question, uh, great beast question, and then uh, making when elk great again. Sure. And okay. We have been making when elk great. I kind of want to see what's happened with an elk since I've gotten Keep like huge great. cash injections. Keep one elk awesome now. Uh, okay. Let's see here. So, as far as the final step, you've got to where we move on with the map of our flight. Send these stairs to eternity. My friends have gone before me, but I follow after bearing gifts. Uh, and, uh... Okay. Um, yeah, there are two more lines to the final step. And hang on, I need to write a letter. Dear Tam, we brought Caradwin back to life. She's an egg now. She'll wake up in two years. She's stupid and decided to take a nap after spending all that time just hanging out in Nerdland. Love, Eloy. Do you mean Sasha or do you actually mean Tam? Yes. It is worth asking. Okay. Taz. Oh, Taz, you said Tam. You said Tam, yeah. Oh, yeah, and bad. I was like, the fairy they, goddess? Okay, sure. they're, they're, their names are incredibly similar, but I, yeah. I remember this time, Ta Dear Taz. It's a Dear Taz letter. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and yeah, uh, at least one day has to happen. You guys obviously spend more. I'm sure mm -hmm. that Fairy and Bogruff would like uh, Caridwen to be around. Yeah. And then, I mean, we're going back through Wenelk because we need to go to, as I recall, we're going back to Horny Crotch, right? You don't have to go to Manel to get to Horny Crotch. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure but we're going do down it. that yeah, way. I, I'd, I'd love to go back to Manel and see like what's happened there. So it's like the nearest place by... to Overwatch. So we can Overland. swing by the Over... Grove. 
I can let her know what's going on. Hornwatch. Taz knows that don't his, need to go to uh, anymore. Taz knows that his girlfriend is coming back. So I'm pretty it's sure okay. we were Commander's going down there for some reason. You know, I've always yeah. wanted to know what's in the ruined fort. I do want to uh, take a level down. two encounter, a uh, level two dungeon. <laughs> oh. not, it's nothing to do with it for you. So what you're saying is our characters can have their first adventure there, <laughs> or our characters' kids can. Yeah, exactly. You guys can like stand on the edge of Wenup because every every big city needs its own ghost stories, even if they've just been made. And the ruined fort is obviously where kids travel to go be brave. And then one day some kids go missing, and then insert level two characters here. Children, go. That's literally how that shit works. Uh, yeah, fifteen gold sounds fine for a magic tap. Um, how many days until you get warlock powers? Oh yeah, you do need to actually. Um, let's see here. So after attuning for, uh, actually, hexblade. Um, Probably only like a day or two, just to make sure that you know all of your like Ash will show you will 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 take you through the ropes essentially, not just like you've got your powers and then boot you out into the world. She's not a bitch like that. Why can I shoot lasers out of my brain? Pew 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 pew. Is that why they keep missing Slam? Carrie <laughs> 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 oh, just starts crazy. crying, and the egg looks even smugger than usual. <laughs> yeah, someone does actually draw on a smug face on it eventually. Oh yeah, for sure. I, I, I bet absolutely that Caridwen Jr. would do that just to mess with LOA. I was I was literally about to say the first time LOA goes to sleep, Carrie's getting a marker on a stick and just drawing like a a really like smug dragon face on the side there. I goddamn knew it, you asshole! Hold on, let me let me just look at the thing real quick. All right. Oh my god! Wow. Oh my god. Yeah, alright. Yeah. It's the perfect OO. Prank victim found. It's on an OO on like a picture perfect smog face. Okay, you're, like, did I you're sleeping something? and dunking on me? God damn it. You use red paint, it's the right color as well to match like the blotches that are on this egg. Mm -hmm. You nailed it. I, I incorporate some of the blotches into it even. Yeah. I make the O's for your wife. <laughs> Alright. Um, so yeah, uh, Ash will, will train with you for a couple of days. So you're probably here for three days before moving on. What is it that you need to do in Horn? We don't anymore. <laughs> yeah, you... I was going there to uh, get Ash to give me Warlock powers, but she came uh, came to me. So yeah, she nice. came, came to Overland. Yeah. But you could visit Wen Elk anyway. Like, there is nothing stopping you from Ash. just saying, like, yeah. We take a couple of extra days after all of this shit and, you know, just go go see to some personal things. Miko yes. and Mai would certainly not mind escorting Caridwen away to Hornwatch and their marriage bed. Oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm sure that uh, could be arranged. Maddie also, does uh, does Theory happen to want a bunch of holy water? It's just something I happen to find on my adventures, you know? Does, does Theory what, sorry? Want some holy water that I just happen to find on my adventures, you know? Man, if there's something that Theory still has, it's a ton of fucking power to do uh, insight. So yeah, but just... that costs money. No, she just makes insight checks. It's oh, like she's... Can... when you when you're like, oh, we just found them. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, yeah oh, no, um... what's your deception? Probably really good. Uh, I mean, I am charisma as fuck. Uh... You can't. Oh my money, God. though. <laughs> You try, uh, and you yeah, fail. Lying to mom never worked for you. And it's a, it it really doesn't. Impossible. Every time I fucking fail. Never lie. Never lie to mommy. Wig wag, wig wag. <laughs> she hung, she hung. Your, your, your mom sighs and done it. <laughs> At which point she will confess that that is actually incredibly cool. Yeah, it's uh. Like, it's hard not to actually be stoked that your child vents holy water. I know. It's, uh... I don't... Is Carrie convinced that this is a Hagen gift? Let me make an in-check to see just how delusional she yeah, is. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> wow. Nope, no. she, she knows Del exactly. Delu what, as, as, yeah, as, as we up. know, like, delusion does not run in your part of the family. Like, you've taken this test against schizophrenia multiple times, and I keep telling you, and in fact, I think you literally have credit, like, every time. Yeah, every your single time. Your study is a goddamn rock. 
<laughs> Carrie's mentality is a goddamn rock. She got her brain bits from Bullgrove. You're just so incredibly sane. Yeah. It's, it's unfortunate <laughs> that she also suffers from curling depression now, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, she'll just mention uh, it, was, uh, it was a gift from Pythoon before we met Pythoon, and then he took us on interdimensional adventures. Sorry, yes. Uh, Stray, go ahead and ask. So can Maddie make me a sword while we're taking downtime? The the one that I had talked about earlier with the uh, great beast part. Uh, what were the parts again? All oh, right, yeah, well, yeah, oh, she's, yeah. Got, she's got three more days yeah, of downtime. Was, but you can take an overland, and you guys can yeah. take a week. And I was wondering if we had enough downtime for her to finish her project and also make me a sword. Yeah, in fact, if she stays in overland, she can work on the fucking magic forge. Because that thing couldn't go underwater. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you give Theory ten holy waters, uh, and Theory gives you ten holy huckles. Yay! You get a big smooch on the nose for every holy water. Actually, did she still have the ability to make holy uh, potions of healing? Um, she still has all of her like proficiencies. If it didn't take magic to do it, then yeah, she can still produce potions of healing. <laughs> I trade some of those holy waters in for pots of healing. Yeah, totally. Um, nice. If you're here for a few days, she'll make sure to craft up ten potions of uh, healing for you. Oh, sweet Jesus. Yeah. That's um, so many more than I thought I was going to get. Thank you. Thank yeah, you, Mom. Uh, hey, Madeline, do you want mm -hmm. to teach Theri your um, sour plum process so she can make them extra tasty? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, add ten sour plum healing pots uh, to your uh, sheet. Uh, Save them. Nice. And yeah, uh, no, the holy water is worth basically more money than the healing potions. So yeah, no, obviously she will totally do 10 for 10. Yeah, they, they are in fact worth more because uh, she can't just uh, make holy potions at half price. Uh, however, that said, uh, everyone in the party gain a potion of healing. Enjoy. Shalom. Uh, okay. Yay. They're tasty. They're sour plum healing potions. Yum, yum, yum. Do I have potion of healing on this list? They're mechanically the same, right? They just taste they are, better. Yeah. 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 They're, they're, they're the mechanically the same. They just taste better. Nice. They're just delicious. Hooray! Even Maddie can taste them. They're nice and sweet and sour. It is. They are magical, so yeah. All right. Last secret, 21 on the roll. Uh, what secrets have I already revealed to you? Let's have a quick look here. Ah, all right. So, Maddie, you're sat there playing with Asmund's fun ball of fun learning. You're hooked on phonics. And it hits you all of a sudden, a realization and a rewarding sensation. Your intelligence and wisdom values could be carried past the 20, uh, 20 value. The orb counts as a holy symbol or a focus, and you can become the Avatar of Asmund. Congratulations. Uh, I'd say give me an int check to figure out what it means to become an avatar. It means that the uh, god of knowledge essentially will uh, loan unto you a reasonable portion of their power uh, in times of great needs. They'll probably give you a daily power. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you can ask Gessa. No, there are no minotaurs here. Um, let's see here. Young August, there you have it, yeah. <laughs> see, look, I beat the joke ahead of time. <laughs> ah, 
Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. So um, no, you're probably a little bit too flabbergasted about this fact. Um, but yeah, the reality is you're pretty sure that there'd be some kind of daily power uh, involved in being associated with Asmund. And if not a direct line, then you get like the priority line to like contact with Asmund. Uh, there'd be more benefits if you took a divine power like if you like actually became say a cleric it took a level in that or anything like that you spend the weekly thing in oscar you want to be avatar roll your d20 oh the ones pathetic weak thing you can do where you can ask asman the question sure uh, and on this occasion, where are you doing this test? By the forge? Sure. Okay, then. So you're, you know, stood there at the forge. Uh, the usual safe space. It's a good safe space. And walking around the corner, like up against the wall, is a familiar figure. <laughs> uh, Asmund himself. Uh, not of uh, brushing themselves down you can see there's like oil smudges on them or like some kind of grease or lubricant uh, i have to lead on with the oil smudges before saying lubricant because i know what everyone calls you reasonable assumption fair sure but yeah asman themselves will will step into view hello there my dear i figured i would answer your question in person yeah no being chosen means that you on the short list for becoming an avatar if you're oh. marked uh, that's already been explained i think mm -hmm. yeah uh, pe people who are marked are basically you know qualified for avatar ship so to speak man who sold the world just came up good song well, Scout, uh, it's not me. Who by? Uh, Bobby. Oh, because there's like three uh, rounds of that. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, it's the one from the reality. The uh, Nirvana one from like right before Cobain died is always going to be my favorite version. So fucking soulful. Oh, yeah, yeah. I missed it. Which one? Uh... Nirvana's last concert right before Cobain died uh, ah. live on MTV had a version of that song and it was just incredibly soulful uh, Asmund will smile and uh, it probably just magics up a, 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 a like tall stool for her to sit on uh, and she sits uh, well, they are already uh, chosen, marked. That's she gestures at yourself. You've been opening this box and carrying with you my favor. As for being an avatar, it means that well, essentially, you have uh, the god uh, backing you and your endeavors. Uh, avatars are often relied on to resolve issues in their god's stead. Uh, it's not quite a full-time job, but it's... Let's call it a commission job more than anything. In exchange for having me available for services, occasionally I might require your help. Uh, matters that I cannot personally attend to. Uh, usually quite important matters regarding the integrity of the land itself. Or creations or otherwise, or setting people on the right path. Uh, indeed, if... pauses for a moment. If Hagen had had avatars at the time, they would have known immediately that their god was in danger. 
and been able to rush to their assistance. Indeed, it's a, a matter of safety. At the same time, the avatar of mine has access to uh, well, quite deep magical resources. Arcane spells, for instance, can be uh, replicated. I can hardly channel holy power through you every day. But when it's called upon, I would be there to answer. The only thing I would expect is to be able to call upon you, dear Maddie. She smiles softly. And of course, it secures you the best home in the afterworld, my great library. And get a look at the secret section. And the section of things yet to be seen. A section for making things. Well, indeed, there is, uh, how best to put it, time doesn't mean quite the same thing in my library, you see. So, indeed, there are books on the shelves for creations and chemicals and all kinds that don't actually exist yet, but will, thanks to inspiring minds like yourself. So you mean like gasoline? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, quite literally, uh, as like you're supposed to exist yet. <laughs> Esmond smirks. I'm sure I could set aside a little laboratory for you. Out of my laboratory. Did he? My stupid sister. Be mad, <laughs> Get in my laboratory. Omelette du fromage. Still like the only episode of that show I remember. I mean, it was. It's a very hard episode to forget. Esmond smiles faintly. Well, you're only supposed to ask the one question, but I suppose I can indulge your curiosity on this occasion. Uh, Caradwen didn't look in the restricted sections of the library or laboratory. Uh, indeed, I am surprised to find one of my wayward daughters returned to the mortal realm. You know, like, looks in their general direction, like, as though she could see through the wall. Shakes gently. It's not usual or common or even expected, so I find it rather interesting. I wonder if she'll retain any of the knowledge that she learned in the library. Because goodness me, did she, you know, consume books and learning while she was in there. As her sister so aptly puts it, she's a great big nerd. She will smile fondly. There is no no finer thing, a compliment to be paid to someone than a meathead calling someone a nerd. She's going to be a dragon. Yes, interesting kind of events there. I mean, it's magic that wasn't even supposed to exist here, so... I was just as curious about what the results would have been. Otherwise, I probably shouldn't have let her out of the library. You're not supposed to, you know, walk out of the afterlife until you're done in it. Ready to return to the wheel, etc. But, well, I was just too curious. 
Did she keep her library card? Yes, yes, she did. She'll always be able to return. Indeed, I could give you a library card right now, so to speak. And then she fucking kills you. You know, uh, she will. Uh, un unlike some some other goddesses might be prone to do, does not reach into her cleavage for it, but reaches into a little, um, like a little book pouch on her hip and pulls out a card. I could give one of these one you one of these every week or so. It allows you a brief visit to the library. Although I'm afraid I would be able to let you into the restricted while you are still well, present and living. Ha ah, yeah. She is big. She big and Maddie small. Mm-hmm. Very small. She'll smile and hold out the card. I'll let you have this one as a gift, although I'm afraid uh, further cards would have to be uh, an avatar-only deal. Knowledge is power, and I can hardly go giving it out. Yeah, okay. So when you take this in your hands, it is a material that you are unfamiliar with. Uh, us of, you know, meat space here behind our computers recognize plastic for what it is. To you, this is a black card of an unknown material. It's quite flexible. Uh, and you can see that there is a, like... Uh, I wonder what that language is etching would be in. It's probably celestial. Uh, however, you recognize the as being a guest par. Asman smiles. Yes. I won't rush you into Avatar ship, of course. It's no doubt a... Well. I'm not even sure how to word it. I, I suppose it's a, an important thing to consider. And the god does not take followers. They... Offer. Well, she shrugs. It's just how it is. <laughs> what floor are you replacing it with? Annoyed at Smug Dragon? Yes. There you go. Some dragons like it hot, but most of them also like it smug. Yes. Should the responsibility ever seem in your interest to follow up on, then all you need to do is ask. Avatar ship will be waiting for you. Not to forget a little assistance breaking that mortal limit, and she just like gently taps you on the head. Well, assuming you don't die, you'll live for a very long time. There is a small grin. Just don't die, forehead. <laughs> Muffins. Muffins from the muffin top. Mm. Hmm. One for you, one for me. One for you, one for me. Mm. She definitely always likes the spoon after. And the bowl. Mm. No, no, the bowl gets given to the dog. 
Everyone knows that. You mean Carrie? Right. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Carrie would be excited to always lick the muffin bowl clean after. Fuck yeah. As the youngest person here, that is her, you know, God's given right. That is her sacred duty. It is a prerogative. Like that one, yeah. You do get it. You get Catherine the bowl, I get the spoon. To the side. My dear, you're still... Well, a part tiefling. Your blood is naturally infernal. You're ageless, effectively, so long you don't, well, you know, perish of mortal means. She will, you know, like, gesture at your body. Very hardy, of course, and you've been in a great deal of danger before, but weapons could still slay you. She pauses and, like, glances again in just the direction of the keep it said itself. I mean, most of your companions... She pauses. All of your companions are ageless. Oh, I didn't. I had just assumed she knew. I mean, we talked about tieflings being immortal in front of her. <laughs> Figured we she just assumed. Assume. Never associated squeakling with tiefling. Now that part isn't true. Like there have been squeaklings that have have met you and spoken to you and told you things that you wanted to know about yourself. Although it's it is reasonable to uh, to assert that you never asked about the immortality, it just takes that for granted. Uh, whoops. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie! Yeah, <laughs> Asmund blinks. Huh. Oh yeah, by the way, you're immortal. They stroke their chin. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh, poor thing. Oh dear, no. No, no. You, you don't need to, to rush, so to speak. You are ageless. You probably get a little bit taller, but for the most part it seems that your frame is naturally quite small, and, and then you'll just age gracefully until you stop aging. Uh, Asmund is stepping around the phrase age gracefully as code for uh, do what tieflings do, which is the get start naughty. just getting bigger and curvier. Yeah, they just do. Yeah, we just do that, yeah. She'll probably still have a smaller stature than most just because she's small. Give Maddie like 300 years and she's, you know, normal people height. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's, she's just she's, about normal people height. Yeah, like almost faunus grade. <laughs> almost. Alright. As we will smile and pet your head. Hmm. Asmund shakes their head. No time limit. The decision can be made, any eventuality that you want it. Even in a moment in great need, I suppose, if you called out. I'll be there to listen. Although the idea at the time being called on just because you're desperate is a little bit insult. I can also understand the sudden need. Grin faintly. You'll get more head pats. And then, yeah, Asmund reaches over towards your forge and sort of plucks up the sword that you've been, uh, like, tasked with. Or well, I guess she picks up one of the parts for the sword that you've been tasked with. Hmm. And what is it you'll be working on now? Uh, and then, yeah, Asmund is going to just indulge you in, uh, in questions to stoke your curiosity. Uh, if you do not have inspiration, a god can in fact give you inspiration by talking to you about your life's work. <laughs> that is just a thing that happens. <laughs> yeah, if, if god talks to you for long enough, you definitely do become inspired. Oh, 
Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, LOA, take inspiration. You yelled at an egg. Have inspiration. <laughs> Shit, yeah. You big fucking nerd. Yeah, you've been Athia screaming get inspiration for. Uh, I think it's well, inspiration for being Egnante. So, I um, I'd say just for the 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 drunken musings. Sure, sure. Yeah, come drunk musings. <laughs> That's what I meant. It's to a say. good kind of drunk. It's a good kind of drunk. So, I'm going to uh, ask Maddie if she could make me a sword. Um, let me look at the list. What what I want to be used is uh, the uh, what is it? Strong necrotic blood, the giant tooth, and the perfect hide. But since LOA is dumb, it's going to end up fucking low. I need to. Every time I try to click on uh, the chat, uh, fucking Discord comes up perfectly right over it. There we are. So she's gonna try. She's gonna. She's gonna try to ask, but it just ends up uh, coming out kind of like the. <laughs> Please, my stabs. Like, do you want squeakonium and blah 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 blah? You could just ask for that. Uh, my stabs embiggenate them. <laughs> could you sharpenate my stabs? Exactly. <laughs> Please, my what? My what? It's, it's possibly one of my favorite uh, Twitter posts ever. <laughs> Please, my what? I mean, my favorite is still James Bond just having a strong. <laughs> oh yeah, that one's pretty good too. <laughs> Call the Bondulence. Call the Bondulence. <laughs> James Bond's having a stonk. Yeah, excellent. I kind of eternally yeah, laid out my weapons can never get any better. <laughs> Pardon, sir? I'm, I'm eternally a little uh, bummed out that my weapons can never get any better, but they're already yeah. so strong. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I'm incredible. still yeah, wandering you... around with the Lamo weapon. Oh, yeah, you, like... you need the upgrade way more than anybody else does, for sure. You've been using that plus one sword since, like, session 10. Yeah. And I've been saving up to make it better since then, but nothing's ever come along, so, and now I can fly into combat, so fuck it. Time to... No, you know, fuck sword. You should get a lance and see if you can just death from above people. And just momentum fly. Well, like a, cav a, ca like a, a cavalier-style... Like... No, you should get a dragon lance. I mean, that would be what, um, you know, LOA Dragon Rider... Will feel, I'm sure. Exactly. And probably still keep the sword of yeeting, because being able to throw a great sword when you're back that comes comes back to you is probably pretty useful. Yeah, half the time I just end up hitting people with the pommel, that's why it does bludgeoning damage. <laughs> that is basically it, yeah. The reason I said it's a bludgeoning instead of slashing is because it's much more likely that you are not actually gonna hit them in a perfect arc. You're just gonna like beans them really hard you, <laughs> like the reason you could do it is because you're strong as shit and it's a magic weapon like you probably throw it flat first at something yeah. I, I throw it at him and they just hit full on horizontally by just uh, a perfect like red line up their nose does it do slashing damage if it crits <laughs> what it's the, the reason it's a crit is because it actually hit correctly I don't know. then it does right. piercing damage it just goes like tip first through somebody <laughs> Makes Jeez. sense, actually, but... Throw it like a javelin instead of just overhanding it. Is Fen really streaming Minecraft right now? Yes. Yeah. Why wouldn't he be? Ah, uh, okay. 
Ben's always been a big fan of Minecraft. That's like... Uh, what is this? this what? That and Overwatch during are like the only games he plays. 2014? Like, during the, during, uh, the downtime of like the first stream I watched him do, he all he did was just play Minecraft. Oh yeah, during Tomb of Horrors it was just playing yeah. Minecraft for like 18 hours. Yeah. Wow. And then uh, V uh, trapped him in... Well, he went AFK to use the restroom, and V uh, had a bunch of web and just trapped him in a uh, in a web box. Uh, and then he was building... A, and then he was, like, building a wall uh, around the village, and then Sonara just streams by building a wall around fucking everything, and Fen just sighed. <laughs> anyway, like... Enough about like other people's streaming. I mean, things. we're no, we're waiting yeah. for stuff to go on in the right because oh, right, 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 Edra right. can't talk, so better right. than deafening silence. Right. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, let's get a roll for the crafting then. Uh, you have advantage from the magic forge, so you don't have to worry about inspo or any of that stuff. It lowers the DC of making a thing successful. This is where you surprise everyone, and it's also a trick weapon. Good thing you had advantage. Um, yeah, fuck. <laughs> you have a really good thing yeah. you had advantage, and it turned it into an amazing roll. Yeah, with a roll actually that high, do you want to make it a greatsword trick weapon? Just to fucking surprise her and confuse her. No, don't do it. Eloy's not smart enough to use trick weapons. Oh, Wait, no. no. No, no, we get her the best trick weapon. It's the, um, um, the whirly. It turns game. into yeah. a different greatsword. <laughs> no, no. Oh, so it's, so it's just the, the um, the, the. Ludwig's Holy Blade. It's a sword, and then it turns into a bigger sword. A bigger sword. Press this button, and you can sword. Yo, dog, I heard you like swording, so I gave you a sword. So I put Press a sword in your sword. Deal. Oh, yeah, a sword that turns into a lance. An extendo sword. Extendo sword. I love it's it. the penetrator sword from Demon Souls. It's just like 10 feet long. Yeah, see, I just imagine, like, the handle extends out, and then the blade segments, like, a little bit, and it widens out into a lance shape. Okay. Turns into glaive. Alright, so, uh, what were the parts types? Let's have a look here. Previous it was... Parts. So, what are their natures? Uh, there was the necrotic blood, the perfect hide, and the giant intact tooth. Yeah, but what are the natures? So, I, I mean, she has it open. Yeah. It's necrotic force, and then necrotic force, and then poison earth. And mm -hmm. then apparently there's squeakonium, six spell slots, and then she's going to bleed all over it. Yep, okay. Um... Sure. Uh, give me a D2, first of all. Who? Uh, the magic she's crafting. Yeah. Okay. Okay, it is in fact force, which is good. It's undeniably more useful than necrotic. Let's see. Alright. And another D2, please. Okay. Uh, hey, Maddie, you're pretty sure you could get this thing up to um, plus three if you threw in some vital as well. Uh, probably uh, vital earth and blood because it's also poison earth. It's just a different nature. But uh, same same nature even. Yep. Yeah. Alright, cool. I wonder if I could change its nature to my product. I bet I could do that. Maybe. Same way I 
Same way how I made uh, Anna's room. Could, 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 we, could we look into a different way of doing that? Why? All right, uh, roll me 2d36, please. That's odd. As in, as in give, me, give me a d36 and another d36, please. It is super specific because I'm looking at a table. <laughs> Okay, five and an eight. Have a look here. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask you a question. Uh, from their monsters, not the people. And you see, this is why uh, Faf is good during Deafening Silence. Yep. Hmm. Ceres is still up north. Yeah, I mean, that's her hold and everything. Okay. Yeah, that's where she lives. Where else would she be? I actually thought she lived uh, over in North Hold. No. No. We should go to back to Lake Hold at some point and visit, uh, what was her name, Jenna? Bulger's niece? She's, she's nice. You know where I want to go? Where we've never been on these characters? Or <laughs> any character? The Coral Port. The Coral Port. Yeah, you said that at the beginning, and I remember. <laughs> I've got the big brain. That'd be a cool place to take a look at. Oh. The one that fucking Anna nuked at the end of the last campaign. Yeah. Oh, do they rebuild that? Yeah, that's why it's no, yeah, they made port. it into a port. Nice. Where, where does it port to? I guess uh, the Black Isles and shit? Yep. So if we wanted to take, like, a jaunt to the Black Isles... Yay, the Beast of Blackwater. I actually had uh, that uh, the Beast of Blackwater in the background of one of my backup characters. Because, you know, uh, what is it? Uh, the Lurker in the Deep War. And yeah. one of the things it says is you... Uh, one of the suggested things is you wake up almost after almost drowning and then all of a sudden have powers. That, that would definitely uh, be an play. apropos Black Isles character. Yeah. So, okay. I should run another Sarah's key. You saw what is done. Yay. Plus three. Holy shit. Wow. So, this weapon is twofold. It always deals a bonus 1d4 damage to each attack. When in its greatsword orientation, once per day, this force damage can be tripled, which you can choose to do after having rolled the attack. So, it's nice for crit fishing, obviously. 
When in its lance orientation, once per day you can add an extra 2d8 bludgeoning damage, assuming you move at least to 20 feet before attacking. Uh, and this weapon has Eldritch Bane on it. Nice. What does Eldritch Bane mean? You have advantage to attacks against Eldritch, and at the same time, it ignores their defenses, and I think they take bonus damage from its magical effect, so they take 2d4 force every time. Oh no, Anna. She's not Eldritch anymore. It's a bonus action to switch between configs, right? Yep. Nice. I was thinking that too, but I realized, wait, she's not Eldritch anymore. Or is she? Bum, bum, bum. She might be. Who knows? There we go. Eldritch Bane imposes taunting against Eldritch non humanoids and doubles the magical damage they receive. So, for instance, those raven beasts, you know, the four legged ones, they'd count as Eldritch, and a number of um, uh, great beasts tend to qualify as Eldritch as well. Especially if you're going plumbing ruins and looking for them in their forms. Okay, so I think okay. I guess you could say it's aberration bane then. Um, yeah, actually, that's probably what I should call it. That makes sense. Yeah. I don't. I, I know why I did it to begin with, where I made a reckless and then a regular. But I I haven't attacked not doing reckless in ever. I mean, you have done whenever you already had advantage. Yeah, now you don't well, have to do that. There's, there's no point. There's no point in having all this stuff cluttering up my shit. Now is a lance already a thing? Yes, yes lances thing, yeah. are real weapons. So I can well, I, I just so I can drag and drop. Yeah. Yeah, just drag and drop plus three lance. Yep. That is a that is a weapon that has probably never been dragged and dropped before. <laughs> yeah, no one's ever gone like. I imagine if it does it, they're like a little alert notice. Oh, did you? Sorry, did you mean something else? It's well, like, I mean, some people plus. some people do play cavaliers. I mean, even then, the lance is just like the shittiest weapon ever. Because the, the, the thing case with the dealing. lance is that, yeah, it's D12 one-handed on a horse, but if you're not on a horse, it's two-handed, and also you can't attack people next to you without disadvantage, so it's just, it's so bad. Why would you ever get that enchanted? So, mm -hmm. the, I actually could just find one, but still. So, but yeah, basically, the, the lance is an opener. For yeah, uh, for, especially for you. You can literally, you know, it, it's what it's set up for. Grant's extra big bludgeoning. Uh, as long as you move at least 20 foot. So you literally fucking flap up into the air, charge the shit out of someone, and then presumably bonus swap out to uh, Great Sword and start no. going. No, no, what, what, what you do is you is to start out combat, you yeet your uh, sword of yeeting at somebody, then lance charge with your second attack, and then at the end of your turn you bonus action it to a Great Sword <clears throat> for maximum bonus damage. It's a ridiculous quantity of just pointless bonuses. I love it. Yeah. Okay. Let me test roll real quick. Uh. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's true. Yeah, you have to carry it across your shoulders. It's a fucking heavy piece of wire. If you were carrying all your gear too, you would not be able to carry that sword. Of... Uh, I don't know, Carrie can carry look... a lot of carries. Oh my god, Maddie, it looks so cool! It immediately startles herself by accidentally pressing the lance button. Yeah. Yeah. It probably uses momentum as well as a button. 
like it's it's always got it's got that typical let's say like the bloodborne ask like you know they fucking whip their hand out or uh do it in the middle of a swing and alternate like you probably can't accidentally a lance just by hitting a switch you have to you know gesture that like a stab or a motion or a flick you accidentally hit the switch and like the sword just falls apart in your hand you're like ah oh, fuck Drink, punk. <laughs> kind of like, yeah, give it a good, good couple it. wiggles yeah congratulations sweet it's probably one of the more dangerous things you've crafted you absolutely wanted to present to yourself so yeah LOA is excited. Yeah, uh, Kellen, do you have a plus three weapon? Because I think now me, yes. LOA, it's nice. Yeah, I think that's all of our old. weapon users, except for maybe Maddie herself, have plus threes now. Uh, um, Maddie's gun is stronger weapon than a plus, plus three. three. <laughs> I mean, it is, but does it have a plus three to its hit bonus? Uh, it do not. I think putting bonuses on it, though, is a class feature. Yes, it is, unfortunately. But, you know. It sure is. And I imagine making it plus three is like, it's your level 20 thing. Enjoy. Oh, yeah. Thanks, game. Enjoy. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, everybody who primaries weapons now has plus three. It's awesome. We're like the equivalent of level 20s now. Yeah, totally. You're also yeah. still walking around with a nuke, so I mean, you guys are I set mean, for me to make the next dungeon you guys delve the most dangerous, aberrant-filled one yet. And then we at the end, it's just Cthulhu it, himself, and I huck a book at him. We should just go find some, like, really bad place and just go be big heroes there. Totally. Yeah, are there any rumors Not of, like, some shit, huge though. kaiju or something that needs to be nuked out of existence? Well, there's this beast in um, the black be fair, water. <laughs> to be fair, I am the last horse crossing the finish line. People have had plus three weapons for forever. Yeah, I had one since I was level one. <laughs> Fucking yeah. slowies. It was I made had one for you while you were level zero. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I am that. teasing people. Yeah. Um, it's funny that you say kaiju, uh, because would you like to guess where the next uh, ruins are? The coral port? Actually, no, to be fair, it's uh, south of Lakehold uh, over here. Yay, Lakehold! Uh, uh, it's in the water here, in Lakehold. Oh, sweet. Oh, joy, sweet. I, let, I still have my bikini from last time, and let's see if I remember how to breathe water. I don't think my bikini from last time still fits me. Yeah, Maddie's horse is. is oh, fuck, still... you're right. To be well, fair, Maddie's horse. The dungeon never is going underwater. To... I'll level with you. I didn't want to actually make the dungeon, quote unquote, completely underwater. You'd sort of go underwater to reach it. I will well, save you the effort of worrying about that. That's because you're a smart DM and completely underwater dungeons suck ass for everybody. No one likes they it. They sure do. No one Can likes I the underwater it? level cool. in any video game. I don't know. I liked the water dungeon in Majora's Mask. Didn't like the one in fucking Ocarina, though. That could suck a big, huge dick dong. Fucking the water level in Metroid Prime. Until you get the good suit, it's oh yeah. Yeah, exactly. most water levels are pretty terrible. So, um, no, you suck at fishing. The fish slaps you. You get pulled in. Oh, all right. It's the one thing other than just hugging a sword, I wanted to do. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, south to tell Searsha, and then. That way? Uh, well, no, no, no. We should. We could go like down this way. Yeah, we should definitely. And then merc our way. Go. Not that way. We need to. I need, we need to talk to Sirsha and then go that why way. Why do we need to talk to Sirsha? Why? Why we? I mean, you could have done that any time during the oh. week. Yeah, we got like. Oh yeah, I, I, I'll like... just, I'll just fucking fly there. I can fly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can actually just fly there once you're like, Maddie, please, I've just become stabbing us, and then she, yeah. you know, gets to work on stabbing us, Ness. I yeah, will. I will explain the. Uh, Carrie is not only a nerd, but like, <laughs> so, I don't flat, so, that not way. Not only a nerd, but way. what? But lazy. Okay. <laughs> she's gonna hatch, and she's gonna eat you. She uh, well, looks forward I mean, to I that. So. <laughs> uh, God, well. so, when elk, and then, did we want to go back to Horny Crotch? 
Um, Miko and I wouldn't mind being like walked back home. Oh, yeah, like if, if we're going to win, I'll carry is gonna pop the horn watch while you guys do your homesteading shit for a couple days. I mean, I mean that that means I get to go see uh, Obsidian, Nori, and Abyss. So. Yeah. So yeah, let's do that. Do I got like a thing or two to put in the museum? Mm -hmm. I like Fuck I if I know. That's Maybe. your inventory, dude. But yeah. Um, we can fast track some bits of this and figure out all the things you want to do in them and start the next session with that, I believe. Sure. Okay. Because uh, I want to get some food. All right. And also, I'm losing my voice again. Yay! Yay! Oh, no. In its middle March, I expected to get hold around. It's, it was just going right. to happen. So, uh, journey rolls, then? No, so we'll, we'll figure all that stuff out uh, next session. We should make our journey rolls now oh. so that if um, we get an yeah, encounter, that's a good point. All right, sure. Fun. Um, the journey Great. down to Wen Elk isn't a problem. Again, similarly, Hornwatch, short, short, short journey. Um, but between Wen Elk and Lake Holt, there is a possibility of some encounters because you're ranging quite close to the sides of the mountain. Uh, let's get a travel roll. Give me some manticores or wyverns or shit. All right, all right. Some jungle vehicle. beasties that have started going north. I will assist Kellen since he is our cartography boy. I'm yes. sorry, guys, I rolled too good. We probably won't get an encounter. Okay. And Quartermaster? Does you, Kina? Mm. Cool. God damn. And a cooking test. Damn. All right. No, you guys have a super fucking pleasant journey, it looks like. Uh, but you'll probably do see some, like, interesting things winging around the mountains, but you'd have to go, you know, like, out of your way to climb up into them to encounter them. I kind of want to see what's up there, because we've never seen anything yeah. in these mountains. So do I. Let's do it. Let's do it, yeah. Want to climb the mountains? Yeah. Climb, yeah. The mountains. climb the mountains. Climb the mountains and see what's there. To, yeah, you can choose to, like, literally park your wagon, like, at the bottom of some mountains and go ranging up them to try and encounter mysterious beasties from the central jungles. Yeah, Probably. yeah. Eloy will just flap up and wait while everyone, like, uh, every, like, ten feet, flap, 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 sit. Everyone just hates Find you some... by the time we get to the top. Everyone else is fucking super puffed out. Growing Find some stuff. raptors stra straying too far north. Well, no, the out the ultimate cheatsy doodle is just Kellen, who walks up the side of a 90-degree cliff. I mean, the walking yeah. is still tiring. I mean, so it's flapping your wings, but, you know. Just excuse me, guys. I'm going straight up this mountain. Meet you there. <laughs> Maddie's the cheesiest. I mean, yeah, you do actually just nap on a spider. It's true. A robot spider, no less. Yeah. Well, again, you'll probably have a sore tailbone because you've got a lot of tail. <laughs> All right. Well, is that where we're uh, leaving off? Yeah, I will. Uh, I guess I will prep a, a central jungles monster encounter. Whoa. Grab some right, drakes. To the EXPs. Indeed. Let us see here. My blind, where is this EXP thing? Did you blind. explore a new and interesting location for the first time? No. Nope. Discover a new and interesting truth about the world. Carries a dragon! Apparently, I could have. I can lay an egg with Wish. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we discovered the last secret of uh, the puzzle box. That is, that yep. is the actual uh, thing. As Asmund's orb of fun. Uh, did you make a new ally or a lasting enemy? Yes, uh, I did literally make one. <laughs> she was I don't think the egg counts. Ally. It's an egg. <laughs> Maybe when she and hatches. She was already our ally, though. She yeah, but just died. We're bringing her back. She's not new. Yeah, but I made her back into the world. Get that. that it's not. That doesn't count. No. That doesn't count. Not for this. Uh, we did advance or complete uh, Eloy's personal quest to bring Carrie back from the dead, though. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, you did, in fact, complete um, uh, resurrection quest. And we definitely didn't get into any fights, so I guess 2 XP, everybody. Congratulations. 3. What? Sorry. Uh, no, no, yeah, just 2. Yeah. We're at 183, though. Yeah, Yay. 183. Getting there. All right. We only got for all that. We only got two. That's so weird. Cause we didn't. 
We didn't, we didn't really do, do much. much. Guess, we just cast a wish spell and then faffed for two hours. It just seemed like so much. Look at a D&D, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, it, it turns out if you just stay in one place and don't do a whole lot of actual stuff, you don't get that much XP in Dungeons & Dragons. Who, who knew? Who knew? Who knew? I mean, think of it this way. If we were using normal D&D rules, we'd get zero XP for this session because we didn't fight shit. <laughs> yeah, but you just go fucking boil a goddamn anthill. <laughs> You'd already be maxed out. This is true. All right. Uh, well, if you're tuning in, uh, we'll see you in a couple hours for uh, Murs in Space, where we get to take, like, maybe three whole turns of combat over four hours. Yeah. <laughs> that is that game. That, Welcome yeah. to Warhammer. Very well last session, though. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it's like going very it. well, unless your name is uh, Pets, but it's also extremely slow. Oh, God. Well, I thought it was, everything's going well until no, you except... were named Father Row. Yeah. No, he's, he's, he's fine. Idiot. He's just going to get power sorted. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs>